Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now, today, I've got this new Giga Pound for you to look at. I've just uploaded this like a day or so ago. And this is Sol 1278, Ruined Martian Dwellings. Okay, now, I'm not claiming to have found these. I'm pretty sure that these were covered in a video done by my buddy over at uh, Mars Anomalies channel, Chris, who did a video on this uh, maybe a year or a couple of years ago. What I will do is I'll put a link in this uh, Gigapan to his video as well for you to check out. So full credit to him for these finds. I didn't find these, but what I have done is managed to find a clearer set of images of these particular finds that he showed. I think he showed it on the sole maybe a day or two earlier or something like that, or maybe a day or two later. And uh, the images were quite muddy. These were a little bit muddy, but a bit clearer. And even in the raw image here, you can see it without doing anything to the image. You can actually see what this is without enhancing it in any way. Um, this is the completely raw gigapan. Um, and you can see a structure here, a rectangular walled structure with heavily eroded, wind eroded outer walls here, which are kind of broken down. This is the back wall. Back, uh, the side wall here and this looks like an entrance here or possibly here and you've got what look like columns inside which have also broken out supporting kind of columns there's one here and there's another one here this looks very similar to some of the ancient ruins I've seen around the world in places like North Africa like in Tunisia places like uh, Turkey and uh, places like that as well where basically you have very very ancient structures which are all kind of buried because they're so old they're buried and and collapsed and eroded and uh, basically you got you got the back wall here you got the sand com coming up against it here and at the, on the side at the back and it's heavily eroded and what's really cool about this is there's another one up here which is not in quite such good shape it's higher up so it's more exposed and we've got another one here another rectangular structure that's collapsed the walls are all kind of eroded away. This one's even got a hole in it here. It's going a bit closer, just here, look. So these look like they were made of, of probably concrete or, or some kind of adobe brick or something. And then possibly the, the, the adobe brick, mud brick, was possibly then coated in concrete. And it's all kind of eroded away and you can actually see that the that, that, that these wall structures have hollowed out and, and collapsed, okay? This is crazy, crazy stuff. Now I've got some enhancements of these things here. If you go down to the bottom of the Gigapan, I've got some nice enhanced clips for you. I've also straightened these a little bit, but I haven't enhanced them much. I've just color corrected them, so they're a bit bluer and a bit brighter. Look at the details in here. This is a rectangle, and we have outer walls which are heavily eroded and broken down. And there's part of one of the walls sticking out the front here, which is kind of split off here on the left. And we have this part here, which may have been a small entrance just here. Or the entrance may have been this side here. But I, I'm, I'm actually thinking this structure was much bigger and actually came out across this area here. If you look at this slope, I think it would have come to about here, but this all kind of subsided and the ground is eroded away and a lot of this stuff has kind of slipped down the slope here and we've got all these parts down here i wonder whether this was a much larger structure and we've even got parts here look in front of it just here we've got a, a piece here and a piece here and all these crazy looking parts i wonder whether some of these were actually joined to it as well and this was actually a bit taller and possibly going it, it could possibly go down deeper into the ground as well this may have gone right down into the ground. This may only be the top floor or the middle floor. There may have been another floor above this and it's all kind of collapsed, okay? Couldn't possibly tell you for, for sure, but what it does look like is that it was possibly much bigger than this and we're only seeing part of it that's been exposed. There may be some more buried under here and at the back here and some of it may have collapsed down this slope into this area here because we've got some very interesting stuff here and a lot of this looks like concrete that's been eroded 
And uh, as I've shown before with some of the concrete structures, I do think they were making them using either mud brick or, or something like uh, blocks. The, the, the soil in this area, the, the clay soil, is very, very good for building with and very easy to build with. You don't need lots of water to mould it together either. A little bit would help, of course. But because of the high sulphur content in the soil, you can actually make uh, building blocks out of it and it will just stick together on the, when put under pressure. So you can literally build, build blocks on top of each other and the weight of the blocks would actually help them get harder and more dense as you build it up the structure. And then once the, the walls are made, you could then coat them with, with a, a concrete mixture of some sort, um, perhaps. And that may explain what we're seeing in some of these structures, especially up here where you've got hollowed out parts, it, it, as if it, it's kind of like eroded out inside the actual wall structure. We've got hollow parts here. So perhaps some of these were hollow for, for insulation purposes. Who knows? Um, very interesting. So we've got one there. Now this is also quite big and I think actually this whole thing here is, is a, an actual structure. But we're only seeing this back end of it here that's still in some sort of recognisable shape. Okay? But this is quite big. It comes right across here. So let's look at the enhanced clips of that. It's a bit brighter. I'll try not to zoom in too quick. Here we are. Basically, you can actually see how these are laid out. And unfortunately, there's no doors and, and um, steps or anything to, to look at. But this one was really cool. And th the point is with this, was it a house, like a dwelling? Or is this an example of a more elaborate burial chamber? perhaps. Now, I have shown what looks like many burial chambers and burial mounds and dolmens and stuff in this area, but this is a bit more elaborate and it looks like it was built in a much more heavily constructed manner rather than just rocks kind of leaning up against each other and forming like a little box shape which you would put a dead person in. This actually looks like a, an actual house. It's not particularly large, Scale-wise, uh, it's pretty hard to work out. I would say this is probably only about eight, six to eight feet or something, possibly seven. Um, but if you imagine that this may have come right out to here, it would have been almost double this size, perhaps, but the rest of it's kind of fallen away. And there may be chambers below this, but it's kind of filled in with sand, so it may have gone down further into the ground like a lot of the structures I've shown, um, it is possible. So these actually could even be potentially part of the same structure. We can have the upper part of the structure here, and this may actually be joined underneath to this one. There may be some kind of um, tunnel or something going between them. Who knows? It's hard to say. But it does look very interesting, and a lot of these slabs here look like concrete, concrete slabs that were part of this actual structure, which are now obviously broken up and cracked and eroded. But there's some weird detail in the ground here, which suggests to me that this might actually be joined to that in some way. Or there could have been a wall between them or something. Or who knows? But the, some of this detail here looks very odd. You've got these striations and, and kind of structures in the sand that kind of point up this way, like this. So that's interesting. There's a couple of other things here as well. So that was really cool. So good, a good find by Chris here. I think it was about two years ago he did a video on this. It may have been longer. But I will find his video and I will link to it from here. So you can check his uh, version of the video out, which, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got a good eye for these things. And we got down here, we got a little figurine. I didn't find this either. I think this was found by Martin Graney. This little figurine here. A sitting figurine. Now it doesn't look that amazing. Uh, the image quality isn't amazing if you get in too close, but if I show you the enhancement down here, I colour corrected it and added contrast and you can see it a bit better. There we are. Spotted by Mart Martin Grenny. I don't know when she found it. Um, I'm guessing she would have found it the same year as the images came out. She normally finds stuff within a few days of actually the images being published.
it's like a little a little bloke with a with a sort of white rimmed hat, which is red, like a little Father Christmas hat on. <laughs> There's his face at the top there, long nose, little eyes, mouth. There's not a lot of detail here. He's got like an arm coming down with a hand sticking out, and he's sat on there like a chair or something, like a little throne or chair. But it's all kind of broken and eroded off, really. It, it, it's not in brilliant shape. But there is enough detail there for it to be interesting. And I, I, I really like this find. And I, I think Martine often p posts this uh, on her page around Christmas <laughs> as a little Christmas kind of thing, you know, which is pretty funny. But th there is red. You can actually see some red here. I, I haven't added that red. That's in the image, OK? It's there. So he's got a little red hat, which may be painted red. So I do think that some, a lot of these figurines and statues would have been painted, much like the ancient statues in ancient Greece and places like this, where they, the statues were painted flesh colour. So it would have been pretty crazy to look at a lot of these things. Uh, people assumed they were just made of marble or stone, and that was it. But then they weren't. They were actually painted in quite de quite uh, graphic detail. Some of them. So. That is possible. And there's this weird thing over here. Now, I'm not sure what this is. This is some weird wreckage on the ground. This thing here with some complex parts to it. This is not far from the structure that I found a couple of years ago, which I called the machine gun. And it may be another example of one that's broken. Because we have some sort of bolt action stuff going on here. So this may be part of a, a, an eroded metal structure or gun-like structure. And we've got some parts here. Uh, very interesting, that. But I don't know what it is. It could be anything, really. And then we have this thing right above it, which looks a bit like an animal sculpture here with a head, with a pointed nose. And it's even got an eye. If you look carefully, there's an eye just there with eye detail. It's like a weird little creature, but it's all kind of eroded and broken off at the back here. And the limbs, you've got what looked like two limbs here, but they're kind of broken. So that may or may not be, that may just be an optical trick. There's not really enough of it uh, there to actually be sure either way, really. But it does seem to have an eye there, just here. So that was cool. And then there was this thing um, over here. Now, this is weird. This looks like a statue. Uh, but it's very odd and if you look at it carefully you've got this very bright eye here and a very strange looking nose which looks like it's partly broken and a mouth with lo what looks a bit like a moustache or something very very strange we've got a little bit of detail in the mouth like teeth here there's a few little teeth there but it's very uneven but this eye is really spooky and it's caught the light at a certain angle and it's very bright, even in the raw clip here. If you look at the raw clip, look how bright that eye is. Now that says to me that the that the eye is probably made of a different type of material. Uh, now I have said this before in earlier videos, I think a lot of the statues had different types of uh, clay or other kind of mineral material used to make the eyes with, a bit like the Moai on Easter Island who had great big white eyes made of different material and then stuck on. Um, it is possible. Uh, but there are lots of different colours of clay deposits in this part of Gale Crater, which means you could basically pick and choose any colour you like, like blue, yellow, green, brown, red, black, um, dark grey. Uh, there's, there's a whole palette of colours here, uh, much like you would see on an island like Tenerife. Um, I, I did a survey there uh, when I went on holiday there years ago, and I collected some rock samples there. And you've got all the different colours like you would have in Gale Crater. You've got the, the, the sort of browns and the reds and the yellows and, and the, but even greens and blacks and all sorts, blues, everything. Volcanic rock, okay, all different colours. And of course the volcanic rock then erodes down into sand and then turns into clay eventually in the right conditions. And you, you, could, you could make almost anything out of this. A bit like the, when you buy plasticine or something from a, from a toy shop, the kids' stuff like clay, moulding clay, it comes in strips of different colours. You could, you could do that easily on Mars in Gale Crater because basically you have all those colours in the ground. 
so you've got a whole palette of things to make sculpture from and it's easy to put together this stuff I don't think a lot of them were carved at all I think a lot of them are just molded out of clay and then baked just let let to dry naturally in the sun you know they would have baked pretty hard and because like I said the sulfur in the, in the, in this clay and soil is very sticky and it would be like a hard kind of composite plastic material once it's dry um, a cross between concrete and plastic very interesting um, very good for building with and also making artwork with okay so you could make concrete structures like this quite easily without using too much intense labor to make it because the materials are right here in this area so you're building with local materials okay which will make it relatively easy to do and you could stack these mud bricks up and then render them afterwards if you wanted to or not and make quite simple structures fairly quickly the question is is this a house or is it an exposed burial chamber I think these are houses actual houses one here and a larger one up here which is not of great shape but it certainly looks like one when you look at it from here and like I said you don't have to enhance these images to look at it you can see what it is without doing anything which says to me this is a very good quality genuine find here so kudos to Chris for this one do check out my previous video the Mars car a lot of people are struggling with that uh, but it really does look like a car and if something looks mechanical and it's car shaped with a wheel a door a door handle a, wind, a cracked windscreen even it's even got light structures on the front as well um, and details all over it that look like a car if it's got all those details and it's shaped like a car it's probably a car I mean why would you make a mechanical object the shape of a car if it wasn't a car that's what you've got to ask yourself why would you do that if it didn't need to house someone sitting inside it you wouldn't need to make it that shape and it is quite small it's only three or four feet tall but it may be quite largely buried I think it is and uh, we have quite small cars on earth I mean you've only got to look at an old car like the uh, the, the 1963 Fiat Nueva or Nuova whatever it's called the old vintage car is shaped very similar to that I'm not saying it is one but the actual body shape is very similar so check out my previous video thanks for watching everybody I'll see you soon